I don't understand. Giving everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications truck, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. I should go take care of this. Go. I was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. But it looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. If it's just us, I don't like our chances. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Koblia. Is it any wonder your people perished? You underestimate the lengths I'm willing to go to ensure you don't succeed. Sadly, this is as far as you'll get. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond. Hit him in the mouth. Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. The Aphelion remains undamaged by the photon torpedoes, Captain. And its shields are fully intact. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could be that the system's down. Well, that was the Takan bioforming ray. And there's no one left down there to respond. The Takan may already be on this ship. Get an urgent message to Starfleet Command. Tell them we've been hit by the Aphelion's bioforming ray. There may be hostile Takan aboard this ship. I'll notify them at once.
Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room. Transporter room one. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated iridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Now, take it right before if you can get the Takan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. We need to tunnel through the shields. to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from Stand the... Stand aside. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, guardian of the Con Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. It's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! 
We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. The signal's gone. Are they there? Did you get them? They didn't make it. Oh my god. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It's served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am saturated in Taconian power readings. I can't feel the source just yet. This way. I can't reach anyone. At least not on the lower decks. It's like they're all... gone. Calm systems seem to be operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. This ship could be swarming with resurrected Takan. It's only a matter of time before they come to their senses and take action. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before. Never know who to trust. I need actionable information. How many have been affected? Can this be contained? Send a team to investigate and assess the situation, and have them report back immediately. I'm sending a team to investigate right now. And what happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? We don't want suspicion to run rampant. We should be cautious. If a situation arises, I want phasers set to stun. Of course. I'll let the crew know to proceed with caution. Have we heard anything from Commander Ermot? No. And he's been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Ermot. Commander Ermot, can you hear me? Computer shutdown initiated. According to this, it was initiated by Commander Irma. What? The central computer core will shut down in 10 minutes. We'll lose all critical ship functions. It can only be overridden by the captain at the core itself. With me. Master 
consoles up there. I don't have much time. Captain Rydek? It's me, Commander Ermont. First Officer Westbrook insisted I find you immediately. Let me get this door open. I think I remember the code. I hope you haven't been hurt, Captain. It's not safe here. I'll get you somewhere more secure. Tell me, where were you when the bioforming ray hit the ship? Where was I? I was on my way to help resolve the problem with the comm system. On Deck 9. Now, Captain... Ah! Still getting used to these Federation weapons. Computer termination sequence in progress. Damn it! Captain, there's a time to fight and a time to admit defeat. Computer termination sequence in progress, awaiting Captain's authorization. Tried to kill me. I was only acting on orders. I didn't mean any harm. You know we'd rather have you with us. We can make a deal, right? Come to terms. Authorization. Awaiting captain's authorization. Cancel computer shutdown. Voice authorization, write it. Alpha. Five. Yankee. Termination sequence canceled. <sighs>
These are the arteries of power coming from the Cotabula and the heart of the Aphelion. Look there. I cannot move as freely inside this ship. Those emitters are why. If they were deactivated, I could travel past this chamber without setting foot in it. Only Takan can use Takan technology. How do I turn them off? Place these on the emitters. It will suppress their effect. The guards, none the wiser. Got it. I'm coming too. If we both get caught, it's over. If it's just me, you can try again after I fail. Well then, don't screw it up. Nothing out of order.
Let's get out of here. More emitters. Guess we can't teleport the rest of the way. That craft can take us to the main power chamber. No way we can make that jump. When I was younger, maybe. Huh. This might control that craft. Portal, a little help? I should be able to bring it to us. getting up something's different about the Takan here stunning isn't an option get in
have to sink that other ship. Shoot the pilot! <laughs> Ancestors, how do you stand with them? We've left them behind. I've seen it with my own eyes. They're not real to conquer. We were conquerors, not Parasites. The souls I pushed your captain to spare will not be used for this end. You are the last real Takan. Don't let them tarnish that with what they're doing. Because if we don't stop the Scions of the Flame, they will be the legacy of your people. Never. That's the attitude. Timing's perfect. We need your help now more than ever. Clearly. The only reason they haven't destroyed us is because we have bioformed to conish. That's why they're targeting our engines. If we lose the engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. Brace for impact! them through. Sorry to keep you waiting, Resolute. We got here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. So, what are we up against? No. It's happening again. We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. Avoid being hit at all costs. And remember, they have our shield algorithms, so take preemptive evasive action. Destroy that ship. Otherwise, it won't be long before they're coming after us. They could all be to come. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. And we can't afford to be wrong. Hail them. See if we get a response. Hailing the paw ticket now, Captain. Hold on. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. Starfleet ship. The Takan have it. Shields at full power. Shields are holding up against their attacks. But they won't for very long. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing. Astrometrics. Hit 
them with everything we've got. Aye, Captain. Taking heavy fire. Shields now at 40%. Stay with it. Keep firing. Their weapon systems are offline. Now's our chance. Finish it. We can send Galvin a message. Let him know exactly what he's up against. And that we're willing to fight to the very end. Take out their engines. Fire when ready. Targeting their engines. Commencing fire. Now. on alone but collectively we might just have a shot on our way full impulse power hi captain target the bioforming ray fire photon torpedoes firing photon torpedoes Helm control. Trying to re-establish. Power levels are dropping all over the ship, but our engines are still running strong. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it, too. I hope the away team is having more success than we are. Too used to it. We're gonna take that thing down.
have to turn off this energy field to enter. I must do it. It requires the hands of a Takam. Is it working? It started. Is the opening wide enough to get through? Well, is it wide enough? No, but I can see the cartabula. What about now? Ah! I still can't get in. Stand back. I'll try again. Can we get through? Maybe. Maybe we can widen it with a containment field from the tricor. Oh! I don't think we can crowbar our way in. It takes a Takan to do it. Understand. 
Finally. Finally, we can be... <coughs> Rejoin... the flame. Talking to the guy that's in charge. Hack down while I'm at work. Carter, you're kind of scaring me. It's okay. I'm still in control. <sighs> We've reached the Cartabula. That's great. Are you all okay? Yeah. We're inside. That's what matters. ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. Getting remote telemetry from the away team tricorders. I'd recognize that anywhere. Our warp core resonant frequency is one of the readings. They're bleeding astride. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the cartabula.
That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from bioforming. This warning. It means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. This is Westbrook. Are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. a wine glass if you play the right note loud enough. Sir? The Takan are so arrogant. They're letting us right in the front door with this energy drain. We can tune our warp core output to those frequencies. Get all our ships to do the same. Push it to maximum levels and we might be able to crack the wine glass, the Cartabula, and take their ship offline. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. It'll work. It has to. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I've got faith in you, and the rest of this crew. Now let's give him hell. Yes, Captain. I found an eject routine for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I'm gonna fight it right along with you, Carter. You can help me get the job done. That's the fight that matters most. But it's not the only one. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? It's not enough. We need to push this thing harder. We need more power. Inertial dampeners are failing. Output at 85%. They're taking the bait. Now we need the rest of the fleet. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that it'll siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. You can't just expect us to turn belly up. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydek. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same.
That's it. They're falling in line. This is the Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the Resolute. Try this out. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, it'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I'm just doing what I always do. I'm an engineer. I'm following the data. Good enough for me. Sending data to the Resolute. Target message. Sending into engineering now. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. Runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can't afford to start second-guessing ourselves. We need to stay the course. If it doesn't work, we're dead anyway. So give me what you've got. Consequences be damned. Aye, aye, Captain. It's not going to eject. We have to disengage the Cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We've got to make sure it doesn't go off the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing.
power. And the Aphelion is shutting down. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did, the sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. It must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured. What's done is done. At least we cut off their power. <coughs> We'll be done if we stick around any longer. Three to beam back to the Resolute. We can't lock on. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if he can get us back to the Resolute, but we have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here. It's still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good, but we can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. That thing is down, not up. We'll handle the stolen Federation ship, but you need to get a crippling shot on the Aphelion. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. It can take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or... Or... I can weave us through the battle. And hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. I don't want to get too close to that thing. We can't take much more fire, Captain. Take us through the battle. Get us a clear shot on that bridge. Aye, Captain. in position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced to eradicate you. The Aphelion is still filling with lethal amounts of radiation, but it seems to be contained within the ship, for now at least. They have combats on that ship, both living and waiting to be reborn. We're going to die in here, and I don't care. Never submit to your federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this. Radiation poisoning is a terrible way to go, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can render aid to your crew. Uh, no, we trust the eons to get here. I won't stop now. Fire salvo! Now the radiation is rising here, too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern. From here. What do you mean? 
I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up with you. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I'm really sorry, Nilly. I'm not gonna be able to go with you. But I have to get you back. Please. If you send them while we're stuck here, give them to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <coughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. It's the Takan. In my head, it's trying to keep me from sending you back. There has to be a way for you to... There isn't. The time is now. team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Target their bridge. Please, Rita. Target the ship. Pummel it to space dust. Like we did to so many. Fire. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Ryder. 
Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Thanks, Captain Riker. I owe you one. Yes, you do. But who's keeping count? Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <laughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please, we surrender. We need your help. Please, people support your ship. I know what they've done, Captain. But we can't let them die. There are enemies today, but who knows what they could become. You already offered help and they turned you down. Tried to destroy us. Why reach your hand out to them again? It's what we do. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we don't have much time. We submit. I don't, I don't know what else I can say. Please. We don't want to die. This is what separates us from them. The fact that we can make a gesture of peace even after all our conflict. Set up containment fields in the docking bay and beam the Takan there. Crew of the Aphelion, shut down all systems. Lower your defenses and prepare to be transported. Thank you. First order of business will be to help reestablish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Olydians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Not with all there is to experience, to learn. My devotion to my people doesn't mean I don't want to explore all the galaxy has to offer. When you're ready, Starfleet will be waiting for you. I'll even put in a good word at the Academy. Thank you. Perhaps I can serve on one of your ships someday. I wouldn't have it any other way. But... There are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydek. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, requires putting aside centuries of enmity.
before others, it takes facing complicated losses. To Carter. How do you say goodbye to someone who isn't really gone? <sighs> I thought I knew how to leave the past behind, but uh, I've learned a thing or two. And for too many, they had to pay the ultimate price. In time, history may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. Now, all hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. More cohesive and coherent. Bound by our shared struggles. And working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. Some of our differences couldn't be resolved, but perhaps that too can change in time. Make way. Space, the final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon, or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are resolute.